there and I guess just kind of talk a little bit about that. Well, it was really a bullpen day. You know, right. we didn't have a starter. And, and uh, you know, we, we gave, wanted to give the ball to Vieto and, and see how he would fare through the thing. And it, he didn't fare very well. And, and I thought Ramirez came in and did, did a pretty good job getting out of the inning. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he had good velocity. But after that, it wasn't wasn't pretty. You know, so everybody got banged around a little bit tonight. So. Right. Bad night. Can you talk a little bit about um, you know Den Decker and he had he had a pretty decent road trip for you guys and he is he kind of getting maybe into a little bit of a groove here. You know Matt is 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 you know I had him last year he he played real well uh, before he got to me mm -hmm. uh, struggled a little bit in Double A yeah. went back to Double A this year got off to a real good start had a, had a good year there in Double A come here and he struggled a little bit his power numbers have always stayed up and and that's a good thing because I think it ju it seems to just take Matt a little bit of time to figure it out to where he can be hit for an average so you know that's what I'm hoping but he did swing the bat a lot better on the road uh, you know hopefully that's a, a good thing to come uh, but but again you know he's had those the stents that he's had you know I mean he's, he's definitely a prospect for us he can really play center field and, and he's a guy that can, can probably hit 20 home runs so uh, you know we'll stick with him and he, he's working at it he's getting better it's a little unusual I mean you look at his average but he has more about half of his hits are for our extra base hits right it's just, you know, it's really plate discipline for him, you uh -huh. know, I think, and, and, and he, he gets sometimes in the mode where, where he wants to take just too many pitches instead of looking for his pitch that he can hit. So uh, he gets behind in the count a lot, and that's, that's one of the biggest reasons, I think, that he has so many strikeouts. And, uh, but, you know, again, his power numbers are up. You know, they're, they're, if you looked at his statistics from last year to this year, Almost straight across the board, they're exactly the same right now. So, uh, with, with that being said, you know he's still a little ways away from being able to go to the big leagues. There's no question. He's a, he's a kid that's going to have to go back to AAA next year, and, and then go from there and see what happens with him. And you talk about Josh Satin and nine game streak now. He's hot. Josh yeah. is hot. I mean, this is the Josh Satin that I seen last year before I lost him to AAA, and, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, on a consistent basis. You know, he's shown flashes of it this year. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and every time you look at anything, Josh is struggling. He's still hitting 280 something. You know, and for him to get hot and get over 300. He's the hitter that I think at the start of the year I believed that he was going to be. Uh, I'd like to see him hit a little bit better with guys in scoring position. That's been one of the things that he's always done in the past very well. Mm -hmm. And he's had his struggles with that from time to time this year. But, uh, you know, of late, that's the Josh Satin that I know.